वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन टू ए मेन पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन पेपर फोर्थ जून 2022. थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज अ स्पेशल क्वेश्चन आस्क इन द जी डी ओ क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड दैट्स वाई आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर दिस वीडियो सो द डेटा गिवन ओवर हियर इज एज शोन इन फिगर द थिकनेस ऑफ प्लास्टर इज टी सफिक्स वी द थिकनेस ऑफ ग्लास विंडो इज टी जी the thickness of brick wall is tv and the thermal conductivity of plaster is kp the glass wall is kg and the brick wall is kb respectively inner temperature is ti and the outer temperature is to draw the thermal circuit for a given figure and write the equation of heat transfer so students here we need to prepare the thermal circuits as well as we need to write the equation of heat transfer so let's first prepare the diagram or we can say the thermal circuits so students heat is flowing over here that is a q and we see that there are three slabs are given so all these three are in parallel as per the thermal analogy which is used for the analysis so here the first resistance are generated by the plaster layer second is generated by the brick the third one is again the plaster so in this way we have the first branch of the resistance second in between these two brick structures we have a glass structures so this is the resistance offer by the glass and same way here we have again first layer is of plaster then the second layer is of brick and third layer is again of plaster and in this way we have created our thermal circuit which is equivalent to the electric network so the heat passing through this all the branch let's say is q1 this is a q2 and this is a q3 and we give the name the resistance r1 this resistance is r2 and resistance is r3 here it is r4 this is r5 this is r6 and this one is r7 here the temperature is outside temperature this is the inside temperature which is ti now we are going to write down the equation for the resistance so let's say the r1 is a resistance due to the plaster and here we know that it is a composite wall so we have a resistance like that x is a thickness upon area into the thermal conductivity so for plaster the thickness is given that is a tp and area is we take as a a and the thermal conductivity is kp similarly we have the four different resistance let's say i prepare the diagram again so this is our r1 this is r2 this is r3 this one is due to the plaster second is due to the brick wall and three third one is again due to the plaster and here in the second loop we have the resistance due to the glass and the third layer or the third network we have again there is a this is r4 this is r5 due to the plaster then r6 is there due to the brick and r7 due to this r7 is due to the plaster so students we know that the thickness of every plaster layers are equal as well as the thermal conductivity of plaster layers are equal so the resistance r1 have a same value as r3 that is r5 and r7 as well as the resistance 2 is generated due to the brick wall so we can again write like x by ak so the thickness of brick is given as a tv and area is a and the thermal conductivity of brick wall is kb so same way we have a two resistance due to the brick which is r2 and r6 and both having a same value similarly we have the resistance 4 due to the glass layer 
and we can write in the same way that x by a k. So here we get t g divided by a into k g. And if we want to find out the total resistance, total resistance of this network, then we have these three layers or three lines are in parallel. So we can write that R equivalent first that is equals to 1 upon uh, R equivalent is equals to 1 upon R equivalent 1, 1 upon R equivalent 2 and 1 upon R equivalent 3. So we know that there are three resistance are series in that first uh, layer. So we get R1 plus R2 plus R3. Same way we have only R4 in the second layer and in third branch we have this R5 plus R6 plus R7. Student we also know that 1 and 3, 5 and 7 are equal. So we can write as 1 upon 2 into R1 plus R2 plus 1 upon R4 plus 1 upon 2 into R1 plus R2. As we know that R6 is equivalent to R2 and R5 and R7 are equivalent to R1. And here we have the two similar terms are there. So we write as a 2 upon 2 R1 plus R2 plus 1 upon R4. This is our equivalent resistance for the given circuit. Now students, we are going to write down the formula for heat transfer which is equals to TO minus TI divided by equivalent resistance. So we can write like this TO minus TI into 1 upon R equivalent and we know that value of 1 upon R equivalent is the 2 upon 2 into the value of plaster wall that is Tp upon A into Kp plus the thickness of brick wall is Tb upon A into Kb plus 1 upon the thickness of glass wall is Tg and area A and the thermal conductivity is Kg. So in this way we can write the rate of heat transfer through the given figure. So T O minus T I into if we take area as a common then we get 2 upon 2 T P upon K P plus T B upon K B plus 1 upon T G into K G. So in this way we can solve this question and we get 3 marks. Thank you students. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.